I'm oral historian Mike Chappelle. Today, March 22nd, 2010, I'm interviewing Dr. Boris Katz at his home in Beverly Hills. Dr. Katz has been a pioneer in the field of clinical endocrinology for more than 60 years and is widely recognized for his innovative treatments of myxedema coma and exophthalmus. In 1985, the Boris Katz Lectureship was established in his honor at Cedar sinais Medical Center. It recognizes Dr. Katz for his devotion to the care of patients, his role as an educator and model for training clinicians, and for his contributions as an original thinker, pioneer, and leader in establishing novel therapies for diseases of the thyroid. Currently, Dr. Katz is Clinical Professor of Medicine Emeritus at the University of Southern California School of Medicine. When you were a fellow, did you do research yourself? Oh, yes. Yeah. Not only basic research, but also clinical research. The basic research was with Dr. Geiger, Ernest Geiger, a Viennese professor that was interested in physiology. And we did the measurement of the thyroid cell height. Cell the height? Cell height. You measure the cells. And the height corresponds to diseases. That means the stresses of life makes the cell heights to grow and the thyroid to grow. We not only were interested in that, we work with rats, little rats, and we did experiments uh, with cortisone, insulin, cold, heat, and there's no question that all type of corticoids, insulin and cold, increase the cell height. And we published it. And it was beautiful. You see, here you see patients during the day, and after you finish, you go to the little barracks where we had our lab, and you spend hours up to two, three o'clock in the morning doing the work. That's research. We were the first one to recommend I-131 treatments for cancer of the thyroid, after you do the total thyroidectomy. We have a package there with all the publications, so you will know more about it. We were the first ones to, which is interesting, the paper of Bauer and Katz, or Katz and Bauer, Franz Bauer, was the first one to recommend total thyroidectomy and treatment with radioactive iodine for exophthalmos and Graves disease, persistent eye disease. And it has taken so many years until recently they finally say it works. We got suddenly emergencies. Here, here's a patient coming in almost dead. What to do? All the reports we find from Germany, from England, from France, is that myxedema coma, there's nothing to do. We decided at that time, if they have thyroid, it's not working, okay? The tablet will not work. Why don't we use the fast-acting thyroid, T3, put it through the catheter inside the gastric tubes, or even rectally, use cortisone at the same time to prevent the shock, and see if they survive. And they survived. Nineteen eighty five, 
The Boris Katz Lectureship and Visiting Professorship was established at Cedar, Cedar Sinai. How did that come about? It's very interesting. A patient with ALS, they had the Levien Foundation in New York, was sent to me. I should check him for thyroid. A week before that happened, in the Journal of Medical Sciences, it's a short journal, appeared an article by research that the muscle fiber needs fast-acting thyroid, T3, to work, or vice versa. In the laboratory, if you inject in the fiber T3, this works better. So, because it was ALS, I asked Dr. Brownstein and Dr. Melmet at Cedars to get interest in this. <clears throat> we kept him alive for more than four or five years. with growth hormone and T3. He established the laboratories for Dr. Brownstein and Dr. Melmet to continue doing research regarding this. And because he considered that I kept him alive for so long, <clears throat> he gave the first, I think, $10,000 or something like that to start the Boris Sketch Lectureship. And he was, he had a stable of horses. And he run them. And uh, Belmont Park and all that. And one horse he named Boris the Cat. <laughs>